after the night, I'ma let the whole world know my name is Evidence. Evidence violated people as Rhyme says entertainment 2011. Almost gone. 2012 shit. What up? Talk to us about Instagram. They're like amazing. Um, Instagram. The king of, D of Instagram to me is Babu. DJ Babu for real. F O R E A L. He showed me what's up. I feel like I'm Luke. I'm like the, the new Jedi. I'm fucking Babu up sometimes, man. I'm like <laughs> Obi Wan. Luke is here, man. But I'm really just battling Babu all day. That's all I'm trying to do is keep up with him. A lot of apps and a lot of people wondering what's going on, but I have two words. Instababs, Robotron. Is there any application that you can get Those were them, tips? those were them. I would just say take your time on Instagram. If you, if you were a photographer, you know my mother was a photographer and I'm, obviously I'm trying to just, I have her cameras and stuff and before I pick those up, you know this was a nice way to start practicing. And um, for me it's deeper than just doing it. I don't take pictures of, like it's no twit pic shit. I'm like real iPhoneography yeah. shit, you know. And uh, like with her, I watched her. She would have to take pictures. It was real film, and you know she'd develop the film. That would take a long time. She'd pick the shot she liked. She'd work on it, crop it, do a lot of stuff to it. And now that we have these iPhones, which are really good, you know, you can just shoot, 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 shoot. And so I would say, take your time with your pictures. Don't be so quick to post it up. This is not Y Frog. This is not twit pic. This is not lockers. This is Instagram. <laughs> okay, talk to us about the new album that just dropped. Cats and Let's dogs. just keep talking about Instagram. <laughs> no. um, album is out. Cats and Dogs. Catching a lot of love from the fans. You know, um, I'm out here promoting it every day. Got a new video dropping real soon called Falling Down, uh, produced by Rocky R A H K I, and uh, it's one of my favorite songs on the album. I already have two videos. Uh, you produced by Premiere. We're about to hit a million views on that in three months, so it's pretty exciting. And um, it wasn't me. And uh, yeah, I feel like I got a really good campaign being back by Rhyme Sayers this time. I'm noticing the professionalism, and though it is independent, I really feel like this is the highest level of independence that I that I've witnessed in a long time, firsthand. So uh, the relationship will continue. I've been touring with Atmosphere, been touring with Brother Ali, been touring with Blueprint, been touring with Greaves and Budo. Touring with Grouch right now, Eli, you know, Amp Live, DJ Fresh, um, Zumbi. Staying on the road, that's that's the best move for me right now. My album isn't geared towards radio or really geared towards television. So for me, the best way to be promoting it is here, merch table, more music, and just keep it going. Stay viral when I can, do stuff like what that. What did you feel you needed to address at all on this venture? This, this to me is a for better or for worse album. It's a... Uh, like when I was writing it, I, like the topics that I was writing about, I knew what I was going to talk about before I was going to write it. It wasn't like put on a beat and just kind of, you know, mess through it. It was like this is what this is what I'm here to talk about today. So it what it's not the most like uh, like syllable locking, rhyming within rhyming kind of record. It's more like this is what I wanted to say and I said it. And um, with that, you know, it can be really personal and inviting, or it could maybe turn around turn people around on some you know he's not being his lyrical miracle shit or whatever not that I'm known for that but I just felt like this was a more of a concept driven record dealing with financial issues dealing with love dealing with you know loss um, but the thing I, I, I like the most about it it does feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel it doesn't feel like what's gonna how am I gonna get out of this it feels like this is what I'm going through but I see the direction on how to how to get out of it so I would say it's a deep record if nothing else um, moody dark and that's the imagery that I wanted to paint with cats and dogs that's why it's called that heavy rain I'm the weatherman yeah why did you even call it cats and dogs? I mean it's a British term for heavy rain you know so my first album was the weatherman I'm always playing on the I'm from California but it rains here California is supposed to be gangster rap but I'm underground uh, girls are supposed to have fake tits but my girl has real tits that kind of shit like erasing misconceptions you know what I'm saying so that just this is not the sequel to the weather Man, but I would say it's directed by the same director or producer yeah. so on um, the you remix is that gonna come out I've been having a hard time finding the third rapper to be honest um, I got Bun B on it really fast and that's amazing and I've I reached out to Kendrick Lamar. I didn't find, I didn't hear back from that. So um, I'm trying to figure out. I, I'm gonna be home in a couple days. So when I get home, I'm gonna figure it's it out. Like 
that might be cool. Um, I don't know him too well yet. You know, it's better to do music with people you've met, caught a vibe with. I had met Kendrick at Alchemist Studio, so um, I'll figure it out though. Soon, soon, soon. But I got Bun B already. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. And then I like the sample, the Mob Deep, and then you got DJ Premier. That's, yeah. that's dope. You know that. Is the next downloaded people's album coming out in 2012? In a perfect world, yeah. We're about to start recording it. I've just been touring a lot, so when I get home, um, I'm going to do my first headlining tour next year, which is exciting because I've been opening up for all these people, so now I get to do my own shit um, and bring my openers out and, and start to be the leader of a movement, not just getting where I can get in type shit. So that's exciting. Not that it... It's been a blessing all the way, but it's exciting to finally be doing your own thing. So yeah, once that happens, um, I think the majority of the record will get recorded after that and um, should be really exciting. You know what what can we expect from the new album? New dilated people? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know, that's what's kind of cool about it is um, our, our plan was always do group records and then do solo records so you could learn about us as individuals. And um, now the Crown of Thorns by Rocket dropped and it was amazing. Um, and Weatherman and Cats and Dogs and Layover is all out. Duck Season Records by Babu. It's like, all right, you know that it's that's him, and that's him, and that's him now. It's not just three people up there. So I'm excited about doing this first record, um, kind of from a new angle for the first time. I'm nervous about it, scared about it, excited about it, all of that. I think that's much better than just saying we got this. You know, so that hopefully is the shit. I, I think it has the potential to be our best record, and that's weird for a group who's been around for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about the Alchemist and Step Brothers? When can we expect that? Are you guys well, working I, on it? We or? never announced that. That's just something that I like. Anytime we work together, I always just put in front of see Step Brothers. So it's kind of like that's something that the people are asking for more than yeah. we ever decided to, that we were gonna do. Uh -huh. He's Eminem's DJ. He's producing everyone from Lil Wayne to Rick Ross. I mean, it's like when he gets a little time and I'm done with this, we'll look on our schedules, etch some time out. And, bottle up all this music we have together because we make music every day so we have a grip of it together it's just when we can put it as a package and promote it because it'll be deserved to be promoted it'll drop i just don't want to after announcing cats and dogs too early on twitter i'm never going to talk about release dates <laughs> yeah, again because yeah that shit sucks man it's not good to make music with pressure like that it's not good yeah what do you like about the music industry and what do you hate not hate but what do you like least about the music industry i mean i'm one um, I'm fortunate enough to have seen both sides of it, you know, I was an underground artist putting out vinyl um, that led to a major five album deal on Capitol that we fulfilled in an era where people were getting paid, you know, and um, took a lot of knowledge and took what I took out of that and kind of just sunk it back into what I'm doing independently. Um, there's pros and cons in both. I wouldn't tell anyone not to get a major deal if you, if you have the offer. I mean, getting now, we, we're not promised shit, so if you can get money up front, for anything, do it. You know what I'm saying? Just understand what you're getting into. And, but sometimes people have to touch the pot and get burnt for themselves to understand. Some people it works out for and it's great. With us, um, I think we took a lot of positivity from it and I learned how to apply it to what I'm doing independently. You know, um, the, the pros of it are the money that's invested in you. It's major money, so exposure goes up television, radio, product placement, uh, end capping at stores, making sure when you walk in you're right there. Um, all this stuff costs a lot of money. Street promotion, payola, all kind of shit going on. So anytime you're on a label, it's like old girlfriends call a lot faster when you drop an album than when you drop one independently. You know, and it's, but independently, um, it's more like a mirror, just holding up to yourself. If you're down to work and you're down to get out there, and you can see a lot of these these same perks it just takes a lot more work so salute uh, independent artists and applaud them because they are definitely working harder not harder because they're working differently uh, than the other artists maybe not as glamorous okay so um, how different is the underground circuit now from where you started in the 90s a lot of things are same a few things are different um, same would be you know we have fat beats a way to put out a piece of vinyl right now you have YouTube it's just more digital more techno you know more technologically advanced but um, it's the same thing you know you get something and you have an outlet to put it out uh, it's more flooded now and but at the same time it's also uh, more mainstream culture so there's more people I don't know what's better you know Do if you, you think it's oversaturated sure yes but so is 
clothing and I still like diamond. You know what I'm saying? Or so is shoes, but I still like Vans or whatever. It's like you can still stand out. I think these are Vans. <laughs> yeah, Vans. Um, you can you can find your way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, independent shit to me is like a boutique store. It's just not Macy's yet. You know, it doesn't mean it's not the shit. In fact, it's probably better. So when it's all said and done, what do you want people to take away from your artistry? Um, I definitely like to show that uh, at any point in your career, you can get motivated and get better. A lot of people think you, you start out dope and progressively get worse. I'd like to erase that. Uh, I think, if anything, I've not to toot my horn or anything, but be, I think I've put a lot of work in to get better. You know, and um, hopefully the people feel that way. And um, I'm definitely a determined motherfucker, so something to be said for that. And um, I don't really know much more because I'm still carving it out every day. I never thought about what I'd be doing in 10 years or what I'll be doing in 10 from now. Just kind of figure it out. And uh, it's my job. I don't have, I don't work at a film store or subway. I rap and pay bills, so that's the shit. As long as that keeps going, I'm, hello. Yeah, you have a nice spot on Venice Beach too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I've, something to be said for underground people having a life, you know what I'm saying? So, you can make it, you can do it, man. You can do it, you can still smoke weed and you can do it, man. <laughs> I like how you're on uh, Twitter, fuck weed. <laughs> yeah, fuck weed. You know what I'm Don't believe anything I say on Twitter, man. I'm definitely, uh, that shit is not to be taken serious. Yeah. But Instagram, fuck with that. So, um, talk to us about 2012, what can we expect from you? New dilated, in a perfect world. The world is not perfect, but in a perfect world, dilated. Um, my first whole headlining tour, American and European. And uh, instrumental album coming from me, Green Tape Instrumentals. Production, got joints from Sean Price album, so they ever put that motherfucker out. So, uh, um, Another shit. Holographs yeah. for Christmas has been an excellent tour. Thank you to Grouch, Eli, and Zoom DJ Fresh for having me. Um, another one. Got it.